But, you know, every few minutes, the Tesla fleet drives more miles visually with AI than any human does in their entire lifetime. And one thing that I try to help leaders do is establish like a personal GPS of sorts so that they can understand like where we are in any one particular industry. Transportation is a good one. And um, what I shared at the Crossroads Summit was that you can imagine like, you know, 10 years ago, um, in many states, it was illegal to include an autonomous agent inside of a car that would actually take over certain functions. Right. Seven years ago, we were testing um, self-driving cars. Three years ago, we actually had cars um, that could be driverless, um, like Waymo's. And we had cars that were um, self-driving in the sense that you were still sitting in the car, but it was driving for the most part with your supervision. Um, And those are the Teslas. And then today, you've got these cars that could go potentially a million miles without interruption. And so I ask leaders, um, really anyone, to just think Um, just push your mind several years into the future and just say, when, if if we have so much harm that could be caused by these cars, for example, um, when they are, when we have accidents and other problems, not just injuries, but loss of life, um, at what point will it become inappropriate or unethical to build a car that doesn't have autonomous agents that are assisting us in driving? And at what point, and maybe this is 20, 30 years into the future, the number of years is totally irrelevant, by the way, but at some point in the future, could it possibly be um, that it would be illegal to build a car with a steering wheel? 